Hello, young artist. Today, you will learn how to create variety in your artwork by using different lines, colors, and different art materials. We have one theme today, and that theme is a lion. First, I'm gonna show you two easy ways to draw a lion. I'll start with a pencil. I'm gonna make my mark really dark so you can see it. And I will start with the number 11, so easy. I'm going to make two straight lines and I'm simply going to connect them at the bottom. I'll add a curve on one side, a curve on the other, a straight line across the top, that's almost straight. And then the easiest mark there is to make, a dot. Of course, you can make the dot bigger. I'll make it bigger. Or I could put a circle around it, like that. What is a lion without its mane? That's all that fur that grows really long around the face of the lion. Well, I wanna add that with color. This is just one way to draw it. Let me show you another way, and then I'll add color. I'm gonna put this one to the side. This one, is a little bit more of a challenge. I'm going to make that number 11 again. So easy. I connect it at the bottom and then I add an upside down triangle. I do the same kind of mouth with a curve. And then I'm going to add kind of a curve at the top to make the eyes look a little bit more realistic than this one. So I want a curve and then I wanna bring a line around. Here I'm making kind of an air drawing or a little ghost drawing of where I want that eye to be. These aren't exactly the same, but it's close. And I wanna make a big circle. That's something that I would color in black later. I haven't made the main yet. If I were using crayons, I would simply think about a rectangle right here and then I would draw from the edge of where I want that rectangle to be, kind of in a starburst, like the fur of the mane, the hair is growing all around. So this would angle down like that. Even if you just use pencil today, you have a drawing of the face of a lion. But of course, I wanna add some color. So I'll go back to this one and I'm going to reach for my crayons and I'm going to use a brown. This kind of looks like a friendly lion. The eyes are wide and it kind of looks like a little smile. And then I want to press really hard with my crayon because I want to show you another technique after I add the crayon. So I want to make the mane going to go really fast and not add a whole bunch of lines this time, keeping it kind of simple, really quick. I'm just going to rotate the paper. That just means I turn it a little bit and now this goes out to the side. I'm not adding whiskers or ears. I'm just skipping that today to make this really, really simple. I do want to color in the eyes and I like to use kind of a yellow gold or a lime green. This is a lime green. And I'm going around and around and around that dot. And then I'm filling up the circle. I will go around my pencil mark or over the top of my pencil mark with a black crayon. You could use a Sharpie if you have one. And You've got permission to use Sharpies where you are. Like that. I wanna to paint today, and I wanna show you some things you can do with the paint. So this is crayon, it's made of wax. It sticks to the paper. And the technique I'm going to try, I love this technique so much. I think I'll add a little pink in there for fun. It's called crayon resist and the resist word means that it stops it 
So because the crayon is wax and it kind of sticks to the paper, watercolor paint is wet and watery and it's a color and it kind of stains the paper. I want you to notice I'm holding my crayon at the very bottom because I am pressing really hard and sometimes even as a grown-up I forget I really need to do that. Sometimes I break my crayons. I don't like it when I break my crayons. So I just want to remind you, hold it at the bottom, not the top, if you're going to press really hard. And for crayon resist, which I'm getting ready to show you, I love it so much, I need to press really hard with the crayon. So I've used warm colors here, the yellow, the brown, the pink, and the orange, and I'm going to add yellow right on top. I have a brush and some water. You can see where I've already painted some and the water is kind of the color of the paint. I'm going to go into this yellow. This is just kind of a big fat pad of watercolor. And look, I can paint right over it, right over the whole thing. And it doesn't change the marks from the crayon because it's really stuck to the paper. And the crayon resists, or the wax, resists the water. The water won't stick to it. That's why we wax our cars. When it rains, it doesn't leave little bits of dirt on the car. It just kind of rinses right off. And there you have it. So I have a lion with a mane. Over here, I have one that I made with cool colors, violet or purple and red violet. I used two colors here for the eyes. Well, I used three colors. I used black and a yellow and then a green on top to give it a little bit of a blendy look. I also blended the watercolor. I used yellow first and then around the edges, I added orange. So I have a blend with the crayon where I've got two colors mixed together and then I have a blend with the watercolor where I have one color on top of another. Let's put this over here to dry. On this one, I just used all the colors in the rainbow. I started with warm colors on the top. I have pink and orange and red and then I went down into my cool colors, green and blue green and blue and violet and a little bit of red violet down there. On this one, I used more like neutral colors. I don't think that this line looks very realistic, but the colors look a bit more realistic than this one with all the rainbow colors. I used brown and I used this peach color and yellow and orange and black right here to make this line. I kind of tried to show where the ears were, just a little bit on this one. And then I have one more. The colors are not realistic at all. And I'm gonna add a little bit more to this one. These are some of my favorite colors. I love turquoise. And I want to show you a little trick. It's just a little cute little trick with a white crayon. I mean, why would you use white crayon on white paper? It's not gonna show up, right? It's not. But if you use the watercolor resist, the white crayon will show up. And it's on here, I promise. It's hard to see, but I've got some white crayon on here. Let's see if we can get it to show up. I'm gonna reach in with this clean water, rinse that out a little bit, and I'm gonna go into the yellow. I'm gonna show you how I got that blend. I'm gonna do yellow right here. kind of makes the turquoise look a bit more green. But I love the way that shows up. I'm gonna leave this part right here a little bit lighter. So how do I do that? I use a little more water and a little less paint. I want that to be a little thinner right there. And then on the edges, I could use a little bit of orange. I wanna bring it in like this and get a little bit of a blend of 
yellow and orange. Those colors will blend because they both have yellow in them. Orange is made with yellow and red. Now when I get to the bottom, I'm gonna go back to the yellow and I'm gonna go in a circle and look what happens. I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of wipe that off so you can see it better. Do you see the little white dots on the muzzle of the lion? That's because I colored that in earlier with white crayon. And I love how that shows up. I'm going to add a little more orange to the edges and then I will say that this one is finished. I think the yellow color of the eye blends in too much. So I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'll go over it with a little bit more green so that I will have contrast. Contrast is how things are different. I'm going to take this green. It's not the same as this yellow green. It's different. I'm gonna go around it. I wanna make sure it's not wet. If it's wet, then the crayon will tear the paper and I don't wanna tear it. So here's this one. This is a very friendly looking lion. And I like the turquoise with the yellow. And then I'll show you one more thing, and this may not work for you, but I haven't done anything with markers. Sometimes it depends on your marker and it depends on your paper. Sometimes you can draw with marker. Let me move this one out of the way. I will show you, I will make a few more little marks for the mane. And sometimes you will have to experiment. That means you will just have to try it. You can add a little water, just plain water, and it will turn your marker into a paint. It doesn't always work. It depends on your paper. It will kind of run a little bit. And see, this doesn't work great. And this is good quality drawing paper. It's pretty good. And it only sort of runs just a little bit. Some markers and some paper work better together. But depending on what you have at home, that might be something that you could try. That's not using any paint, that's just using water. So try to get some variety by picking different colors or using different lines when you draw a lion. See you next time, young artists.